My machine has printed and now it is scanning, getting it together, now it's cutting. Hey y'all, this is a quick look at how I use um, transfer paper. Now, I will say, you put it in your printer, this side down. Unfortunately, my husband printed a lot of sheets the incorrect way, but I was able to salvage them. So this is the back side of one that has already been used. Um, so you basically like normal, you print it using your regular inkjet, etc. Then you cut on whatever machine if need be, and you have a, then you peel it. So I don't know why that looks like that. Also, y'all just like sublimation, like this little watermark right here will transfer. So you have to make sure you don't really get anything on it, oil, anything else like that. So this works for those who have been asking, hey, can you sub on um, dark? You, technically, you cannot. So transfer paper is your best bet or some other type of medium um, like easy, blah, blah, blah. I have someone actually sent me something to sample. So I'll show y'all. Um, I, I should have done it for this project, but I did not. I just picked it up. They sent it a while ago, um, but it's something that will allow you to sub on cotton and dark silver. So, oh, I didn't even tell you, but after you peel it, you place it. Um, you don't have to use parchment paper, but I am. It gives it like more of a matte finish. I believe if you use Teflon, it will give you a shinier finish. Um, and it's just that it gives you a nice, you know, nice vibrant image. The one thing that I hate about this is you have to cut. And for me on Cricut, my limitations are 6.75 by 9.25. So for me, that is like when, when I get down to the 3X shirts, mind you, I, I did it, but I would rather sub so I can make my images bigger. But that is just a me thing. So again, um, you just kind of peel it up. Like this. Yeah. Also, like if you pre press, you don't want to leave this by because this paper starts to curl and do like it's heat activated, obviously. Um, another thing I was going to say is I printed some of these. Let's see if there are any that do not look vibrant. I printed some the day before. So the vibrant look kind of toned down, but I do want to say it all presses the same. Uh oh, it all presses the same. This is an order for about 50 shirts. So it can be tedious when it comes to the cutting. If you have one machine, um, this is probably not the best best route. It, and it probably depends on your time. If you have time to get a screen print or some transfers of some sort then cool but me my time frame i'm just coming back out of town from um miami and or pretty much florida um okay so what i should have done already was position it because it starts to soften let's see and curl up a little bit. Have it flat because also if this folds over, it will, you know, it will obviously fail. So we're gonna see what happens with this water. Little watermark right here. You can see it here. Now I think it'll still show up, but it's also a cartoon, so take away from the image you only have to press for like 10 seconds 
And my press is normally much hotter. Like at 430, I have it on 370. Um, and that's pretty much what I just pressed my regular vinyl on too. Okay. So you can barely see. But it's there. It didn't quite look like the picture, but it is still there. Okay. So be mindful of that. I have my two and three X's. I um so I'm just gonna do one more. And yes, y'all, I want to show you you can still use if you print it the wrong way, it does not mess up your paper. You can put it in the right way and print and get a successful um church, whatever you want to say. Uh, so one more time, just a little quick. Free press and with transfer papers you have different options sometimes if i'm in a bind i will use a brand from um michael's which is pretty comparable so i'm just peeling this off and trying to keep it also away from the heat because yeah also the peeling part portion can be kind of tricky you see all of these scuffs and scratch marks up in here. Some of these sheets have holes in them. Just because by any means necessary, you got to peel this. So, it doesn't have to be cute as long as it gets the job done and does not take away from your image. You're good. And you can see a little bit of the outline. That has everything to do with my annoyance. Um, with having to cut I'm so used to self-emotion that going back to this is just so beyond me I try to work everybody into self-emotion but I understand some people want navy shirts and looking at these shirts they look cute on navy but it would have been much faster for my life it would have been more expensive but it would not be what is it, 4 o'clock in the morning? And me doing shirts. Now, granted, it looks great. It looks great. The color is there. But just like when you get this white. Mm -mm. Not okay. Not okay. Alright, y'all. Just wanted to come pop in really quick. It's been a minute. I have been out of town. Um, I'm going to probably get a video up to show you and tell you a little bit about that. But we're back to our regular schedule. I had my first event back from vacation this weekend. And I will upload the footage. If you're on TikTok or yeah, Facebook, Instagram, I went live um, during that event. So you can check it out there. Super excited. You can see a couple details, some details from my trip also on TikTok. So, all right, y'all, until next time.